Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial on how to model a soccer ball using Blender. Now this video tutorial was originally inspired by the original creator of the soccer ball tutorial found on YouTube called Modeling a Football in 5 Minutes. And the person that created it is this uh, Mr. Wang Ta Xianren, okay, way back in September 2006. Now the video was very good, okay, but the problem is there is no uh, dialogue in the background to explain how the steps are done. So I'm trying to improve upon this uh, video. So anyway, let's get started. So first of all, let's reset the scene. Okay, and uh, we're going to get rid of the uh, default cube. And the first object we need to create is the icosphere. And the default is two subdivisions. So remember to turn it to one subdivision. Right, I'm going to press Z to enable shading mode. Right, and I'm going to go to edit mode. Then going to if you go to edit mode, all the uh, vertices or faces should be selected. Then press W, hit subdivide multi, and then give it uh, two number of cuts. Press A to deselect, and uh, I want you to activate this button here called occlude background geometry, so that it's easier to pick out the uh, the points. Now we are going to select all these uh, central points now, holding down to shift. We're going to select all the tips, tips of this object right now, because we're right now. What we're going to do is we're going to create a base object for the soccer ball. Right. So now with all the tips, right, all the sharp points of this object selected, right, and uh, you might want to change your center to 3D cursor, and make sure you do not accidentally press the left mouse button and change your 3D cursor in the wrong location. So if you do that, remember to press Shift S and uh, make the cursor back to uh, the selection. All right, so that is uh, right at the center of this selection. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is just hit S to scale, and then bring scale it down to a point until all the uh, faces are flat. So in other words, you want to create this base soccer ball shape. All right, if you go to object mode, this is what you get. Right, so I'm going back to sub object mode again. And the next step we want to do is we want to create, uh, or rather, we want to select the faces around the vertices here. Basically, we want to select the pentagon faces. So the shortcut is to press on to control and your numpad plus button. Then, with it selected, okay, press to control, tab, and change it to faces. Or you can simply press any of the buttons here, edges, uh, edges, or faces. So with the pentagons now selected, tab out to object mode and apply a subsurf modifier and uh, just apply it okay so now we subdivided it using the subsurf modifier go back to the uh, edit mode you should see that now uh, the number of faces has increased all right and the faces are still selected so now we can do our extrusion so we press e to extrude instead of individual faces you press you select region i found click on it but well, you notice that it doesn't extrude out the way you wanted it to. So just right mouse click, let it stay there first. So instead of using a, a move or a individually extruding one by one, that's an easier way. Pressing Alt S, all right, Alt S will enable this shrink flatten option. Okay, and if you move your um, cursor up and down, you can change the amount of extrusion. So I'm going to use the value of 0.07 and press enter and now I can deselect that by pressing A and I'm going to control tab and so change over to uh, vertices selection so right now I'm going to select the hexagon center points okay, holding now the trick here is if you select one point here because we're going to select convert the selection to faces and re-extrude again we do not want to select the center points of the uh, hexagons next to it so you can select this one, then okay, I'm gonna turn off the manipulator. Holding down the shift, I'm gonna click on this and select the center one. So always observe not to select one that is next to one another. Remember to hold down to shift so they can add on selection. Okay, this one is fine, we can select this one. We cannot select this one because it's next to this uh, hexagon. Now we can select this one. Okay, so right now we run out of choices for now. So just press Control Plus to increase the number of selection until all the 
faces are selected but you need to convert the selection to faces so you can either click on this button here so that it's con converted to faces already so press E again to extrude by instead of individual faces region okay right mouse click so that it jumps back again and we're going to use Alt S again to extrude and giving the same value 0 0.07 okay I'm using my uh, numpad to enter the value here press A to deselect and we're going to repeat the process Control tab switch back to vertices I'm going to or you can click vertices here only down the shift select the center uh, vertex of the hexagon hexagons then control plus a couple of times control tab switch over the faces press E region right mouse click that is snap back to place Alt S alright and give it a value 0 0.07 and then press enter and there you have it this is the basic shape of your soccer ball although it doesn't look like a soccer ball yet uh, it will in the next in a few moments by just giving you a few more steps so uh, next thing you want you might want to do is to uh, give it a smooth surface by setting it smooth alright and you might give it a subsurf modifier so rather than add modifier here the shortcut to add one subsurf modifier one level is control press control one okay notice that now it is given a, a number of subdivision but it doesn't look like a soccer ball everything looks flat it, it looks like almost as if it's not inflated so there's one more step to do to make it look more like a soccer ball so first go back to uh, sub object mode Okay, press A, press A so that all the faces of vertices are selected, and then press this combination of keys. Okay, this is to now we're gonna inflate the ball in, in a way. Control Shift S, and then as you move your mouse left and right, you can literally inflate the ball until it becomes the perfect sphere. But that's not what we want. We want to give it about maybe 0 0.8 levels. Now you can enter this value numerically. I'm using my mouse to adjust the, the level of inflation. Okay, I think 0 0.8 or 0 0.75 looks just about nice. And then I'm going to left mouse click to enter. So we press A to deselect, go back to object mode. You see, now you have a very nice looking soccer ball. But what, what about the colors and materials? Now, this is very simple. All you have to do is uh, press Control tab, go back to vertex mode again. And I'm going to select only the pentagon central vertices. Holding down to shift. Okay, you just uh, keep on selecting. Okay, I missed out this uh, pentagon. So let's try that again. Control plus. Okay, control minus. Okay, pressing control minus will reduce the selection. I do not want to over select. So just tumble it around. Just make sure that you have selected all the pentagons. Now I'm going to convert these into faces. So you can click on this button here on my favorite shortcut is control tab and then move to faces. Okay, so now with all these faces selected, if you go underneath here, the menu here, let me try to make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Press home, move your cursor here, press home so they automatically zoom up. Okay, under the links and materials, I'm going to create a new material. And clicking, clicking on this uh, square box here, I can assign a color. Okay, I'm going to give it maybe a, a black color. Alright, and then I'm going to click on this button assign so when you as hit assign it's going to assign specifically to these faces but since we only have one material the whole ball turns black so right now we're going to inverse the selection so under select inverse the selection so right now only the hexagons are selected we're going to create a new material and this material I'm going to give it a off-white material and I'm going to assign it to the selected faces and there you have it this is how you create your soccer ball doesn't seem to be too difficult isn't it alright so just practice doing this a few times and then you remember the steps and uh, this is a great tutorial right to teach you the uh, select grow select and reduce selection and changing the selections between faces edges and uh, faces so thanks for watching this uh, video, video tutorial and uh, if you like it very much please give it a 5 star rating